So here's the final mood board slash vision board. 2022 goals plus manifestation. Burning some incense. Hi guys, happy new year. I can't believe it's 2022. That is literally insane. Um, if you can't <clears throat> tell by my voice, I've been sick for the past week, so that's why I haven't really been posting much. I'm feeling so much better now. I'm basically recovered, but you know when you have like a lingering cough from a sickness? If I ever get a cough while I'm sick, I'll literally have the cough for like a month to two months after my sickness. Like it just lingers on for so long all the time. So I still have like a little cough. That's just because it's going to linger on for a long time. I wanted to post this video like on the first but obviously that didn't work out because i was sick in bed we're gonna do a 2022 reset i'm just gonna like do a mini reset on my life for this year get rid of the negative energies that i don't need anymore and yeah i'm excited um i'm just gonna bring you guys a long vlog style like usual and we have a lot of shit to declutter and just release and i just wanted to quickly say before getting started that you can literally like do this reset it doesn't need to be a january if you're not feeling in a january you don't need to do it in January. You can reset your life any time of the year. Like it doesn't have to be January. There's so much pressure on January. And usually that's when people do it. But you can set new goals for yourself anytime. Any time of the year. Okay, let's go. Oh my god. My room is literally a disaster, you guys. This needed like mm -mm, mm -mm, this needs to go. I can't wait. Okay, first step is to clean my room. I'm just going to declutter everything wipe down all the surfaces and then after i do that and vacuum and stuff i'm just gonna do like a purging i do like to purge often so it's not gonna be that many things but i just want to do one fresh for january the start of the year i'm just gonna like quickly go through my clothing and stuff and my items and just see what i can get rid of and like stalled energy i can just get rid of for things that like i don't use anymore and stuff so let's tackle this So here is the rundown of what I did so far. I have a huge bag of clothing that I am giving away. So actually it's not that big, but this is pretty good considering I do a clean out pretty often. So this is full of clothing and I got rid of one pair of shoes. And then here, this cup is actually broken. So I don't know what I'm doing with this. I might have to throw it out. I got it exactly a year ago from Brittany and it broke. I have no idea how, so I might get rid of this. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it. And this is basically just a whole bunch of boxes upon boxes in here that I just didn't bring downstairs. So in here, as you can see, I got rid of so much stuff. These are all hangers that were filled. So I'm actually so proud of myself because, you know, it's so feels so good to purge, especially in the new year, just like giving yourself a fresh start. Um, yeah, clean closet. And I just brought my bed sheets down to wash. So those are going to be washing right now and i still have a couple things to clean in here but i'm gonna clean the bathroom and then come back to this and vacuum and everything and wipe down all the surfaces we're doing good but this took this took me so long i swear i've been doing this for like two hours now okay now onto my bathroom as you can see this is not a fun situation i'm not sure what happened here i think just accumulation of things when i was sick and disgustingness so we're going to tackle this. We're going to clean everything, make everything fresh. We're going to just briefly go through the cupboards and make sure that there's anything that like I don't use anymore, get rid of it, and just do a nice deep clean of my vanity here. <music> Okay, 
so I got this new makeup bag for Christmas and I'm just gonna transfer everything from my old makeup bag to here and I like it because it has like a bunch of like compartments so everything like I can even like stand some brushes up in here and it's very like sturdy it's from Glossier by the way so I'm gonna transfer everything here let's do it Here's the makeup bag. It's a lot more structured, meaning like it kind of has a slot for everything, if you can see. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to keep it on my counter because it looks really pretty. And yeah, I like it. Okay. I'm burning some incense right now just to give my room positive vibes and get rid of the negative vibes for 2021. I've never done this to my room before, but incense could be good for clearing energy and all that good stuff. So it just feels appropriate. Okay, so now I'm going to write down all of my goals for 2022 and just kind of make like a written down vision board i'm gonna make one with pictures after this but i just want to write down like physically all the goals that i want to accomplish what i want going forward into 2022 and just like make categories a lifestyle category youtube category and spiritual category and just write down kind of like my goals for all those categories so i actually recently bought myself an ipad mini with a apple pencil so i'm gonna be doing all of my writing on here but obviously if you don't have an ipad or whatever you can just do it on a pencil paper or write it up or whatever you want to do it doesn't really matter but if you guys are curious this is the app good notes yeah i just did like a line paper and then i'm just gonna write and i'll show you guys like what they look like and stuff afterwards but some stuff is gonna be kind of like private so i'm just gonna have to blur some of it out but i'll give you guys like the general idea and doing this i encourage you guys to like look at the big picture of things and if you want to do something go for it like if you're setting these low expectations for yourself then you have low expectations for yourself so you're not pushing yourself to do anything you have to set high expectations for yourself so that you put yourself up here and you're like wow okay what do I need? What do I need to do to get there? What, what are the steps that I need to do to get there? And also, you can kind of use this as like a reference point throughout the year. If you're feeling lost or whatever, you can go back and look at your goals and be like, okay, this is what I need to do different. Blah blah blah. Like just you can go back and reflect on it anytime. Also, this would be a really good time if you had set goals for last year to go back and reflect on the goals that you had set for yourself last year and just like write up a thing. But I honestly didn't really set like written goals last year. I kind of did it on a monthly basis instead i didn't do like a yearly one which i regret not doing but this year i'm gonna be doing a yearly one so if you guys wrote down goals for last year i would encourage you guys to reflect on those before setting new intentions and goals and manifestations for this year okay you guys so i'm sorry but i did a block out <laughs> what i wrote and everything but i just wanted to show you like the the outline and everything that i did but yeah i did want to block it out just because it is a bit personal but so i just wrote 2022 goals plus manifestations i did one for youtube financial lifestyle and spiritual so i feel like these four categories are perfect and makes you kind of break everything down and where you like what you want to accomplish where you want to be in these categories at the end of the year obviously if you guys don't have youtube channel you can replace it with whatever or even just like do these three categories but yeah, I'm so excited to look back at this next year and just like see how far I've come, if I've manifested these things or manifested more. But I did aim high. I did shoot for the stars. And this is your sign to go in with confidence and just know that you're going to get shit done and just know that this is going to be a great year and it will be. Even if you go through rough patches throughout this year, just know that you're coming out stronger. Everything happens for a reason and... Yeah, I'm so excited about this. I really encourage you guys to make your own so that at the end of the year, you can reflect back on it because I wish I did one for last year because I really wish I could read something, but I unfortunately didn't make anything, but that's okay because we're starting this new tradition this year. Okay, so because I literally didn't tell you guys anything, I'll give you a couple of goals that I wrote down that are not that personal just so you guys can get an idea of what I mean for like manifesting and goal setting. My voice is like not regular right now. One of my goals is to reach 100,000 subscribers on YouTube 
and you know what i believe that i can do it and then i wrote down a list of like dream brands that i want to work with around this time next year i want to be like looking at the real estate market maybe you know looking for some apartments another one of my goals is to start every morning off with the stretch slash yoga routine and i used to do this every single day but i just like fell out of the habit of it especially this december and like these just past months i just haven't been doing it as often the difference that i feel doing that coming out of bed in the morning is like drastic and the way my body feels so i definitely want to make that a huge thing in 2022 to just keep that routine up and you know maybe make my own yoga routine that i do every morning another one of my goals is to read up one book a month and yeah, I just want to get more into reading. I feel like that is very attainable when you have a good book. Less time on phone and more time in nature, especially when I'm in nature, just not to look at my phone. Like, just if I want to bring my phone out with me on a walk or whatever, just have it with me, but don't, like, go on it. And just spend more time in nature in general and off of TikTok or off of Instagram or whatever. Because it's so beneficial for my mental health and just, like, everything nature is healing and very good for you so i definitely want to spend more time in nature this year and yeah so those are some of my goals i have a lot more that are just more personal and that i would just, just want to keep for myself oh did you hear that crack okay now we are going to draw a bath and do a little meditation have some calm time before we make our little vision board i'm gonna make it on my laptop i think mood board for 2022. Okay, so I just did a bath meditation and my intention for this was, have you ever heard of like a shower meditation? So basically it's like the same thing but bath version. So basically you go in the bath, you do meditation and you release all, for this, is, this was my intention, I released all the negative things of 2021, everything that I wanted to release energetically wise, energetic wise, like anything that I want to release I released it into the bath and stepping out of that bath I left all the negative energy toxic everything in that bath water and then I drained it so peace out to my any bad vibes that happened in 2021 because we're stepping into 2022 with positive vibes positive mindset we're leaving the negativity negative vibes anything negative behind it is drained oh yeah so that's my intention that's like what i did for my bath meditation and yeah i feel so good so mentally clear and just ready to tackle this new year okay so now we have our fresh bed sheets on it feels so good so good to be clean have fresh bed sheets my room spotless vacuumed dusted 
cleared i got rid of stuff it's incense it's cleansed this could literally couldn't be the best like there there couldn't be a more better start to the year so we're just gonna make my mood board for 2022 i was just about to say 2021 i have a whole bunch of photos that i because i just scrolled through pinterest on my phone and i gathered a bunch of photos that i'm going to put into the mood board so i'm just going to use the website called pink monkey i have a subscription on there so that's just what i do to make like my thumbnails and everything <music> Here's a final mood board slash vision board slash manifestation board whatever you want to call it that i just made and holy shit i'm in love with it it's kind of self-explanatory i feel like um but overall i'm just like kind of showing i want to go on adventures i want to eat more healthy i want to work on myself um internally you know make some new friends potentially look into getting my own place yeah, so all of this, I have smoothies, so all this is really exciting to me and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to write in the middle 2022, so I'll show you guys when it's completely done, but I'm so happy with this. Also, I really, really, really love these, this little, um, the little quotes that I put in here. So this says energy givers and then, hold on, let me zoom in for you guys. It says energy givers, a glass of water, sunlight, nourishing food, exercise, laughter, Cuddling a pet, self-care, meditation, blah, 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 blah. So it shows like everything you do that can be good for you. It shows energy takers, overthinking, screen, social media, clutter, dehydration. Um, so this is kind of just stuff reminding you like, look, this stuff is like good for your soul, good for your mental health to do, blah, blah, blah. And then here, this quote says, there's no passion to be found in settling for a life that is less than the one you are capable of living. And that just really speaks to me. And that's the vibe for this year. And we love it. Okay, so here's a final and complete mood board, vision board, whatever. I put 2022 on it just so that I know that this is like my vision board for the year. And I just realized 222. It's an angel number year. That's so cute. Okay, so yeah, that is my finished final vision board. I'm in love with it. Good vibes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end the video here. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching this video and coming along with me to Reset 2022. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys got some information, some tips out of it. And yeah, I just wish that you guys have the best year ever. Make sure to just leave toxic people, toxic vibes, everything toxic in the past. Leave that in 2021 and make sure to bring positivity with you into the new year and it's never too late to do that and yeah may this be the year for everybody may this be everybody's year i really hope it is and life is what you make it like i know that's like literally the most cheesiest thing you can ever say ever like that sounded gross coming out of my mouth but it's true life is what you make it life is about the decisions you make the adventures you go on the challenges you take you decide you make decisions every single day so just remember that whatever you want to accomplish this year i hope you accomplish it and just know that you can do anything you set your mind to don't let anybody tell you otherwise go achieve those goals this is a perfect time to start because it's new year but it's not the only time to start so remember that but yeah i just wanted to thank you guys for such an amazing year and for watching my videos this year and can't wait to see what 2022 brings love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next video cheers to the first video of 2022 peace out